Fallon Smart was a high school sophomore in Portland, Oregon, killed in a hit and run just before turning 16. She was imaginative and empathetic. She was intelligent. Charged with first degree manslaughter and reckless driving, a Saudi college student, Abdul Rahman Noura, living in Oregon on a Saudi government stipend. He pleaded not guilty, the Saudi consulate paying his $100,000 bail. But just before his trial, U.S. Marshals tell NBC News his ankle bracelet was cut and he rode off in this black SUV disappearing. We've put out um, information to all law enforcement agencies uh, to be on the lookout. Homeland Security told prosecutors he turned up in Saudi Arabia a week later. Noura is one of five young Saudis accused of crimes in Oregon, including two accused rapists and a pair of suspected hit-and-run drivers who all vanished. Fallon's family and U.S. Marshals say Saudi diplomats likely spirited Noura out of the U.S. with a forged passport on a private plane, as first reported by the Oregonian newspaper. Senator Ron Wyden of Oregon is demanding answers from Secretary of State Pompeo and the FBI. What are they going to do to make sure that these criminal suspects are brought back to Oregon to face justice. Do you think you'll ever see sight of these young, very privileged Saudi college students? What I know is that I'm not going to give up. Fallon's mom is still devastated. She at least deserves a legal system that put her killer in front of a jury of peers. The Saudi government has not responded to our request for comment. Andrea Mitchell, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.